The following is a short tutorial on how to set up a discussion in D2L. So as you can see right here in the news post, I have a discussion all set up, which is better iPhone or Android. And this is what it can look like at the end. But I'm going to show you how to set it all up and pull it all together. So to start, you're going to go to Class Tools. Then under Class Tools, you're going to go to Discussions. Once in here, you're going to notice there's a new button, a blue button. That's always how you get going. When you click down the blue button, it's going to say, do you want a new form or a new topic? I'll just explain what that is. So the form would be iPhone versus Android right here. And that just uh, the forms just allow you to organize them. It's like putting them in a folder. So you create a form. And the topics, which you hear with smartphone when you buy in state reasoning, those are what the students are going to answer. So you create a form, and then you can put um, the topics in. So for instance, you could have a media literacy form then that you could have all your media literacy discussions in that form so we're going to start by creating a new form right just to show you what it looks like so we're going to call this media literacy so once we're done that you can add a description if you would like but really the next step is just to hit save and close now if we go back into where all our discussions are if i scroll right down to the bottom you're going to see now i have a forum which is in media literacy so now i can add stuff to that so i'm going to go back to the top and if i now click on here and say new topic so this is what the student's actually going to respond to you're going to get to see look it says choose a form so i'm going to say well i want to add this into my media literacy form um, I can open it with some different topic types. You can just read those. But then I give it a title. The important thing to know about the title is this is what they're going to see in the news if you link the two. So I'm going to say, um, what was the main idea of this commercial? Now, what I really love about this is that in the description, you can put in your expectations, instructions, questions, anything you want to put in. But what's really nice about it is it has insert stuff. So if I wanted to go into insert stuff, I could go into YouTube if I wanted. So let's just say for media literacy, I wanted them to look at a commercial. I could pull up this commercial in here and students could watch the commercial right in this window so this is the one i'm going to choose i'm going to hit next i'm going to insert it for those who know me i like to center things i can go under here and put like my expectations for this or the instructions as i said now if you keep scrolling down, once you have this filled out, it says, what, what do you want? Do you want to allow anonymous posts? Probably not. Moderator of posts means that you get to approve posts before they're shown. And the next one is user must start a thread before they can reply. This is a really handy one to use. Say you don't want students to see what other students are writing first. If you click that off, they will only be able to write once they've submitted their first post. And you just kind of go down and look at all the other options. Now for this one, if you wanted to add some assessment into it, so say you want to assess it, you can go in here and you could tie it to our grades tool. And I can show you what that will look like in another video. You can add a score. So say you wanted to mark this out of 10, you could. You could connect it with a rubric you've made or you could click here and create a rubric. Then that's pretty much it. Once you hit save and close, you're going to go into the bottom where this was and you're going to see there it is. What is the main idea of this commercial? Includes assessment, must post first, all the things we've talked about. So I'm going to take you back to the home page and I'm going to show you how I did um, it like I did in that main that post I put in the news. So seeing this one how I have the video, I have an image, I can do whatever I want with my news post, but these links I'm going to show you how to put those in. So if I wanted to get students to it quickly, I could go new news item, right? In this new news item, I could, if I wanted to, I could put the video in using insert stuff. I could put some text in there explaining what we're doing. Whatever I was going to do, I could do that first. But here's the nice trick. This tool right here, or this tool within insert stuff, is called insert quick link. And if you click on it, you're going to see all the tools in D2L. Well, there's discussions. Inside of discussions, if I said, well, there's media literacy, that was my form. And I can go and say, what is the main idea of this commercial? So if I click on that, what it does, it puts in a hyperlink that will take them directly there. I'll show you um, what I mean by that. So now I have the link in there and I publish it. 
So if I was a student, so I'm going to go in as a student. So if I click out where my name is, I can view as a student. I'll show you what this looks like from their perspective. They're going to go in and they're going to see this and whether there's a video and text all around it. But they're going to say, what is the main idea of this commercial? When they click on it, they're going to be taken where they could watch this commercial directly within this window. Then they could read the expectations. If there was a rubric, there'd be a little rubric button here. And essentially, they can start posting right away. So a new thread is like them starting up their own discussions. So inside of here, and you'll see it's the same looking as the news, right? So if they wanted to say, I think that, and they could put in whatever their ideas were in here, and then they would just be able to post it. Now, as they post their discussions, you'll see that they're here. They can see how many people have read it and replied it. If you click on the actual discussion, so if students click on other students' posts, they will have the ability to reply to that discussion, and they can have a conversation within it. And the great part about this is it's all monitored, and it's um, the students, when they post, they can't take it back. So they're generally really well behaved in here because they know it's going to be a tied to assessment or um, they're going to be accountable for what they post. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to set up a topic inside of the D2L discussions and how to link it into your news.